Hi there, I'm Isla. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing this book with you called English Country Style. And this is part of a series of episodes where I'm sharing the books that inspire me and inform my work as a homeware designer. So often um, I will look through books like this when I'm starting new projects. Um, I design fabrics and wallpapers and linens. And I'll often look through for sort of ideas of things to get me started. This book is really, I think, a little bit of a hidden gem. It's pretty low key. Oh, it was £4.50. Um, and I got it from my neighbour, Mary. Uh, you'll notice that I've got an awful lot of books from her. And um, the thing I like about this book, actually, is it's not very glossy. I've noticed that lots of the photography is very low key, if not always the best. Um, and things don't feel quite as staged as other books that I've seen about sort of country house style. But anyway, this is lovely. I love this. Um, these kind of, I think they're called like earthenware, slipware, slipware sort of pottery. And um, there's a lovely shop called Tinsmiths. Um, and Phoebe from Tinsmiths has the best um earthenware slipware like this for sale in her shop and it's very sort of arts and crafts inspired she's got the best eye i'll link i'll link that below if you want to look at her shop you must because it's beautiful um this is kind of deemed the law of the english countryside and they sort of describe why it's beautiful i just love these gates it kind of reminds me these little sort of gatehouses of um the illustrator beverly nichols and I think that he would have definitely had these kind of romantic illustrations with gates um, leading to kind of beautiful, beautiful kitchen gardens and things. I mean, look at that. It's just quite, it's quite sort of misty, the photography, but I just love the, they're so hard to get hold of now, these kind of cane wickerwork chairs, steam, do they call them steam lounges or something like that? Yeah, probably. Anyway, just beautiful. It is quite funny, this book. There's a lot of kind of small children strategically placed um, and animals as well. I just had to show you that because I thought it's quite funny. Um, yeah, the animals by the fire. Um, I love the stenciling around there and above. So pretty and so effective. I've just got to do it one day. Also, how fun is that with all the hats piled up on top of the bus? so good this is there's a real sense of humor running through sorts of kind of busts wearing sort of um you know necklaces and things this is great in the hallway absolutely love the big velvet curtain across the doorway i'm thinking about doing something similar myself with energy bills going up um apparently this is a kind of preserved turtle he looks quite alive to me but anyway um the military um Umbrella stands are genius too. They're really good fun. I love that. I love a kind of hallway with a sense of humour. Look, the Labrador in there. It's just beautiful, this sitting room. So pretty. So yeah, you kind of have to look quite hard at some of these photos because they're not the sort of big, luxurious magazine photos. I love this one. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite images. I think because I've recently bought a sofa about hmm, I bought it last Christmas actually it's quite a similar shape to this so it's got quite low um cushions in fact the cushions are almost identical and this kind of quite um thin frame with a, quite a similar sort of printed fabric and I absolutely love it uh best purchase ever so yeah I love that image with all of the pillows at the back so good see what I mean about strategically well-behaved small children <laughs> So good. Oh, isn't that just divine? The conservatory. As they've got time to just play with all those shells and things. So nice. I don't know how you sort of strategically prune all of that as well, but it is amazing. The bedrooms are pretty good as well in this book. I mean, that is just all the work. 
in just edging that and I kind of love that normally I like the bigger scale gingham and that's quite small but I do love it it's very pretty on the inside and sort of that tented effect as well this is what I mean about I sort of love this book because it's not you know the best carpet ever it looks a little bit moth-eaten and quite sort of um yeah it's seen better days let's put it like that but I still sort of love it there's some good ideas in here. Just love, I love it when there's a kind of eider down, two, two twin singles and the matching eider down. It's just beautiful with the kind of tester. Just amazing. So pretty. Imagine if you had two little girls. Oh, it's so pretty to do that. And I think this is a Laura Ashley fabric actually with a kind of carnation print. Um, and this is amazing, although I cannot think where on earth that person is meant to spend the night because there's no room from all the cushions. Um, but quite amazing. I'd be happy to sleep there. And this bathroom, I love this kind of deep mirrored archway set in the bath set back. It's just, yeah, it's great. It's really great. Another classic bathroom. Oh, I mean, this is a curveball if ever you saw one, the children's bathroom. I've never even seen a children's bathroom looking like that. It's just unbelievable. Those are very pretty tiles as well. So that's it for today. It's a very interesting, but oh, there are some, there are some sort of terms, sources, directory. It's a really interesting book. It's not the glossiest, but those that you know, seek and you sh shall find. That's what I always say. So it's good to have a look through and look at some kind of inspirational country house style images. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment if you did. And please think about hitting the like and subscribe button. And I'll be here next week with a new book that's inspirational.